celebrating a 2 0 win over Eastley. How proud are you of that performance? Um, obviously, after events last week, and uh, you know, I mean, obviously we got a good performance, but, but I think it's easy to sort of expect that performance. You know, we had a, obviously a big crowd television, so you know, yeah, I sort of expected that response at the very least. But you know, we worked well this week. Um, and the players really, you know, showed today a good appetite. And we really talked about the the draws at Barrow and uh, Maidstone and Chesterfield. And now they seem like good good points when you get a three point or so. Um and I believe we're well, looking at the just results in the office there, they've they've pretty much gone for us, so which is what we wanted. We talked about it, didn't we, uh, yesterday I think, and that about getting back to winning ways. And I thought we were we were worthy winners really. Yeah, talk about uh, in terms of the game, um when you Three minutes in, or two minutes in, James Jennings sticks up a, a cross and ends up at the back of the net, and that's sort of uh, rubber green that, that you're after, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, I mean, we, we, I wouldn't say we've had a great deal of luck, apart from maybe early games in the season, so, you know, you, you take that. But I think sometimes an early goal, you know, sort of takes the sting out of the momentum of the game. I think it just took a bit um, to recover, but then we did all right. But I was more pleased with the second half performance. You know, I thought you know that uh, they come with a good. I think they won the last five away games, and I thought the response from the players when Robbo went off was good. Carra just slotted over, and uh, Youngie had a real influence on the game. Yeah, you mentioned the performance in the uh, in the second half. Obviously, when it's only one 0 they're putting the pressure on. Um, you seem to soak up that pressure, and getting that second goal was really important. Yeah, yeah, and we created other opportunities. Really, I mean, it, I think it could have been. You know, maybe uh, another goal or two in it, but um, we're not complaining. But you know, I was pleased with the energy of the team. Um, you know, lots of positives today. Um, we just talked about it. It's really what we talked about before the game. I mean, they give themselves a platform that up to now to have a good season, and we really want to have a good season. Like you know, obviously there's a big game coming up, and obviously you know it means a lot to the club. But uh, the league is our bread and butter, and we want to be in that uh, in that pack uh, come the new year. Uh, talking uh, of the second goal, Bobby Grant getting his first goal for the club. He, he was telling me last week uh, the goals are coming and uh, we finally got one here. And it was an important goal for it, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, in his previous couple of games before, he's he's just been that far away from a goal and you feel that, obviously with a player like him, he's probably just lacking match practice. Practice. I think his overall fitness has been fantastic because he's certainly lasted the 90 minutes well, but just that sharpness that gets you that, that goal, um, he's certainly coming back and it was there today for, for sure. You mentioned um, going into things like the Christmas period, you've got a replay against Newport, you've got trophy games as well. Um, it is really important, isn't it, after a run of games without a win to get back to winning ways, wasn't it? Yeah, it was vital. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's easy to say it now, but like obviously you, you start to... Um, not not worry, like, because, you, 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 know, you, you know, we can always come back, but I think it was just... In, important for the players and for everybody at the club that, you know, we needed to, I mean, it, we, we, we talked about it again yesterday, that the, the pace at the top of the league is quite fierce really, isn't it? I mean, normally in, in any league, uh, you'd expect to be maybe, I don't know, maybe five points clear and not getting the cigar, but sort of being able to, to you know, not relax, but sort of, um, you know, have a cushion, but phew, nobody's got a cushion. It's... Uh, it's going to be quite relentless, I think. So we've got to stay with it. Yeah, with um, good FA Cup and FA Trophy, with Salford and Lake Norrie both losing today, and you've been able to uh, to narrow that divide. I guess that's really pleasing for you with a break coming in the league and and just as you say, it is a relentless division. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we sort of knew it really, but um, I mean, teams are to uh, are staying around it, not just you know what you probably thought was the favourites, Salford and Orient and that. But there's other teams staying with it, so we've just got to stay with it. And I think, uh, you know, we know we're strong as a club and we know we can uh, strengthen at the right time come January. So, you know, we've just got to... But, I mean, I don't know what Robbo's injury was today, but that, anything like that's a blow. But again, it was probably a bonus today to, to, without Brad and the skipper to, to, to get the three points because, you know, it was, you know, thinking about the team, that was... That was hard, really, um, and obviously Manny's stepped up probably before time and done really well for us. 
you mentioned uh, Manny, you finally get him back. Uh, obviously, you lose Sean uh, and Brad today, uh, and uh, Kevin Roberts going off the field. It's uh, in defence. It's um, a bit of a mismatch, isn't it? And then you've got to you, you, you've got to rotate that defensive side. But they've shown that they can be solid and they can get the clean sheet. Yeah, we're fortunate to be uh, quite strong in that area because um, Mark, like Cara, gives a gives us a, that versatility really. I mean, he's played centre midfield today, gone to right back, uh, uh, and he, it's not a problem to him. But I think Jake Lawler's a bit of an unsung hero as well. I mean, his, his, his performances are pretty much uh, seven to eight out of 10 every week, which is which is fantastic. So um, hopefully we can get, if we get them all fit, it's a, it's a real problem for, for future games. It's a sweet victory for you today. Obviously, Sam uh, departing last week, that being confirmed on Monday as well. So you've obviously taken the team this week um, and as an interim manager to have got that victory and, and maybe to have settled things as well. Yeah, I think I've got a decent record as interim manager, I think, really, because uh, I remember at Wigan, I mean, I mean, imagine these games rattled off. The first, the first games I took at Wigan were Newcastle away, Reading away. We, were all, we both went up. And then, in fairness, we did beat the likes of Rotherham and that, but, you know, it was... It was exciting for me, but it was uh, it was certainly difficult. But um, but this this is just as as nerve wracking, really, believe it or not, um, because you want to do so well for everybody. Move on now. Um, the the small matter of a, a replay in the second round of the FA Cup against Newport away. I'm sure we'll take a, a good crowd to that one and know all about them. Obviously, after last week, it's going to be a, a tough game for us. Though. Yeah, I mean, we know it'll be tough. I, I was. Uh, Fortunate that went down there early last year with um, Chesterfield and uh, we played reasonably well for staff. But there's, you know, they have a similar crowd to us really to get right behind them. But and the the, the form at home is good. But I think the the draw was key to how what sort of feeling you get for the game. And I think uh, any footballer, uh, you know, that's put a pair of boots on wants to play against a Premier League team. So it really. Doesn't make my job easier, but it makes it um, that the motivation is there for both teams. But I don't feel frightened by that. I think uh, you know the players are really got on with it today, and I think are, you know equally ready for Tuesday. Cheers, Brett.